Hey everybody, I'm glad you can join me. My name is Jerry. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. I have a 1981 old Chevy pickup truck and the turn signal socket's all busted out, corrodes, it's a very old truck by now. And in here in Texas, we got to pass inspection, so I got to replace this. So stick with me because I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're underneath the truck, and this is the old turn signal socket. And the, this black wire, there's a black wire that went in here, and it was uh, basically broke off and fell out. And Okay, so there's the new one hanging. All right? The old one from 1981. It's an 81 pickup truck on, I'm underneath. So for those of you guys that want to repair old socket, just get the part number, and I got the part number here, and this one I uh, went ahead and soldered it up. You can see I got three wires. The brown and the black in this case matched up with the ones that, that came the aftermarket one. And you can see that I have my soldering iron on out here, the extension cord, right? An old spool of solder. Probably seen that from some other videos. All right? And that's how we do it. Now I'm going to take a roll of black tape and just individually black tape each of these and then I'll wire tie up, tie up the excess wire. And I already tested it before I soldered it, right? So make sure you make your connections and then test it with the vehicle turned on. Make sure the parking light runs and the turn signal both run before you solder it, okay? And then, um, and these kind, you just stick them in there and twist them, and they lock in place. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's how, that's the, that's the way we do it in America, guys. <laughs> okay, that's how we do it. Men do it, they get underneath the truck and they do it, okay? If, if we won't take it to the mechanic if we know we can do this stuff ourselves, right? Right, guys? And that's how we do it. We do it because we know how to do it. All right? And if you don't know how to do it, take the time to learn it. All right? Solder it up and ready to roll. Easy peasy. So there you go, guys. I hope, hope that's focused because I can't quite tell. But, uh, yeah. That's... After I checked it, they actually were properly wired, check the turn signal, then I soldered them up. I taped each individual wire with electric tape. Then I taped all three of them together, just to hold them together, and then I wire tied them. That's it, guys, that's it. That's how you do it. And then the excess is not gonna fall down and hang around when you're on the road, right? And I'm just gonna clip off this little piece right here and we're done. Cool, right? There's the truck that I'm working on. That's my pickup truck that my dad left me before he passed away. Pretty cool, right? And of course you can see that awesome Jixer. So, um, which is also blocking the license plate intentionally because you know the tr internet's so trustworthy, right? <laughs> yeah, so it's an uh, 81 Chevy pickup, K20 I think it's called, CK20. Pretty sweet. And I had to replace the driver's side front turn signal which also is a running light because they got inspection coming up. So uh, yeah, job did it. I got it done in about maybe an hour. Took my time and uh, sweet. It's really nice here today. 82 degrees here today, guys, in South Central Texas. Oh my gosh. For the rest of you that are freezing your butts off, I'm really sorry, but at the moment we're having great weather, so. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you get it done. A little ingenuity goes a long way. An old turn signal socket from 1981. Welcome to throw this in the garbage bin. Listen, guys, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, don't let the thing just sit there and rot away. Get in there, get it fixed, get it repaired. You know, my dad left me this truck. I really enjoy taking this truck, go out for a little ride on a wonderful afternoon like today. It was just amazing. Okay, so get in there. The worst you can do is fail. You keep going at it until you get it fixed, right? That's the way we do it. Listen, I got some more videos coming up on the 2017 Suzuki GSX-R 1000R. I'm going to run a video on regular maintenance you need to do on this bike. And I'm also going to get some stainless steel braided brake lines. We're going to up the performance on the brakes on this bike. That's going to be really cool. Listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You should see the Texas flag right over here. Just click on it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I really appreciate the thumbs up too. Okay guys, until next time, we'll see you right back here again real soon.